expensive, so. Let's do this. What's up, guys? Zinigami here. Knights of the Frozen Throne is coming out soon. Hearthstone new expansion pack, so we're going to do a set review. This is just going to be how I feel about all the cards, how good I think the cards will be. Of course, I'll be incredibly, incredibly wrong, because as the wise Day9 always or has said, that we're not doing this to be serious. We're doing this to have some fun. So we're doing this uh, so we can just look at all the new cards. I have kept myself as spoiler-free as I could. I can finally resub to the R Hearthstone subreddit because uh, I've been avoiding that like the devil. I think I did a pretty good job of avoiding most of the spoilies. So I guess uh, Druids first. I'm assuming the classes are going to go alphabetically. This is just the Imager album that R Hearthstone has of all the cards. So, Crypt Lord. Taunt after you summon a minion, gain one health. Three, three, one, six taunt. Uh, I feel like that's gonna be a three, one, six taunt. It's gonna be definitely like really good in arena. A three, a three, one, six taunt that will grow like the. So if we see aggressive druids coming out, then Crypt Lord will definitely be good, just like the Warlock minion that gains the attack every single turn. Although the taunt is actually worse on this if you're being aggressive. Uh, I like it. I like it. Definitely going to be good in arenas. Uh, if we see aggressive druids, that's going to be really nice. Or token druids. Rise of token druids again. Nash! Three, give your hero three attack and three armor. Oh, Awesome. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love that. Just three, three, attack, three armor. Yeah, that's good. I like that a lot. Not not even choose one, which is feels weird for Druid. Like, I feel like Druid would have two, choose one, three, attack, three armor. But just three, three, attack, three armor feels really, really good. Web, weave, five, summon two, one, one, poisonous spiders. That's... That's not, they don't even have taunt, that's bad. Uh, unless these spiders have taunt and the Hearthstone is just not telling us information, that's, that's pretty bad. One, two spiders, I mean, you're, you might get a one for one trade with something, or a, uh, a one for two trade with something, but most likely it's just gonna be something of lower cost. I don't, know, I don't like that at all. Two Druid of Swarm, choose one, transform into the one two poisonous or a one five taunt. Yeah. Yeah, two for a one two poisonous, even though it has does not have taunt, is just like our oozes. It's probably also a beast if it's a spider. Yeah, it's an insect, probably. So it's gonna be a beast, which is also nice for all the beast synergies that you get. Uh, one two poisonous or a one five taunt. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like I like that a lot. Two, one, five, taunt. Oh, that's Druid of Swarm form. And then Druid of Swarm form. Four, strong shell scavenger. Battle cry, give your taunt minions. Plus two, plus two, two, three. What is this, warrior? So this works with one, five, taunt. This works with... Druids don't get a lot of taunt. That feels, that feels like a warrior card that's accidentally a druid. Just that would be this would be like a pretty good taunt warrior card. Spreading plague, summon a one five scarab with taunt. If your opponents have more minions, cast this. Oh. <laughs> okay. So this is summon a bunch of one five taunts and then give your taunts two two. I feel like that's way too slow for an aggressive deck. Like, on turn 5, summon a bunch of 1-5 taunts. 1-5 taunts aren't threatening. It'll probably buy you a turn for, like, against an aggressive deck. But if you're playing against, like, an aggressive deck, like a pirate deck, that those 1-5 taunts aren't going to do that much. And if there are enough aggressive things out on the board for you to get, like, 3 or 4 minions off of that, then you're probably in a lot of trouble anyways. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I feel like it's way too slow. Fate Spinner, 5, 5, 3. Choose a Death Rattle secretly. 
Deal three damage to all minions or give them plus two plus two. Deal three damage to all minions or give them plus two plus two. Choose a death rattle secretly. It's a it's fidget spinner. That's right. Um, five five drop deal three damage to all minions sounds pretty good. It's gonna be delayed by a turn if you're on if you're getting aggress against, or it might be for a token. I don't think that's I don't think that death rattle is ever gonna like really trick anybody. I don't know, maybe. That's gonna be pretty nifty. I, I like the I like the mind games that are gonna come with it. Like drop this out when you have two or three minions on a board and your opponent has two or three minions on a board and we'll see what they do. Maybe they'll guess right, maybe they'll guess wrong. I I like the design of it for sure. Like I think that's a really clever design. So maybe you get your opponents to wipe into it and then give all your minions plus two plus two because he thinks it's gonna be wipe everything. Or you're gonna play it out and they have a bunch of stuff in the board, so it's like basically guaranteed to be wipe everything. We'll see. But I, I definitely think it's like super nice. Ten drop, ultimate infestation, deals five damage, draw five card draw five cards. Gain five armor, summon a five five ghoul. Ten for five, 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 fives. Deal five damage to anything, so that includes face there. Draw five cards, five armor, five five ghoul. 5-5 five, five Ghoul without Taunt. If a 5-5 five, five Ghoul had Taunt, that'd be, like, really sweet. 10, deal 5. Draw 5 cards, of course, is going to be great. Gain 5 armor. I'm wondering if this is going to be... The 5 armor and 5 damage is going to be enough and constructed to let you survive long enough. If you're getting to 10 costs, I think this is I mean this is gonna be great on any control druid. Any ramp druid is gonna love this. Like amazing ramp druid card. For Shirzels. Let me actually turn off my manage my extensions. Turn off images, thank you. You feel like they're trying to change the meta from taunt. You feel like meta is taunt heavy right now. Well there's literally a deck about taunt. <laughs> Malfurion the Pestilent. Okay, so I know about this. This is something that I do know about. Oh, I, I still have the... Uh, I thought I turned that off. Okay. No, don't do... not do. I don't want my hovering. Malfurion the Pestilent. I do know about Death Knight cards. So they are... They're like... Uh, all the other hero replacement minion cards. But it's just going to be a straight up and it gives you 5 armor. I like how all, everyone becomes a Death Knight. Malfurion, 7 drops, choose 1, summon 2 poisonous spiders or 2 scarabs with taunt. So I think this is going to be the 2 scarabs with taunt, is 2 one fives and the poisonous spiders are 2 one twos, and then you gain 5 armor. Do we know what? Ah. Plague Lord, choose 1, 3 attack this turn or gain 3 armor. Oh dang, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty nifty. I like it. I like it, I like it. So you either get 3 armor or 3 attack. You automatically gain 5 armor for dropping the 7 drop, and you get 2 scarabs or 2 taunts. The 2 spiders or 2 scarab taunts. Okay. Alright, alright. If I refresh the page, I bet it'll. Alright, cool. No longer does my hovering. Uh, I want to I want to see what the other heroes do because this is the first hero I've seen. I want to see what the other the others do, but that already seems like really cool. Any kind of like hero power upgrade is nifty. Handronox, nine three seven death rattles. Summon your taunt minions died this game. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> death rattle, not battle cry. Um, dude, yeah. Oh man, Ramp Druid's gonna be good. Now I don't think this works well with stuff like these 1-5 taunts. I don't like them with the 1-5 taunts. Because you don't want to have a 9 drop that summons 1-5 taunts. But Druid may have a few big taunts in its repertoire. So Ramp Druid into that, and like into getting a bunch of taunts and getting them all back. And this is like really big difference between this and Death Rattle. Uh, 
the death rattle to I mean, battle cry get back your death rattles because this is gonna be like this will save you that's it doesn't have taunt itself it had taunt itself I guess I guess yeah death rattle summon your taunt minions is is an infinite loop so that wouldn't work yeah that's really good all oh, out ramp taunt drew all the way okay hunter cards play dead trigger a friendly minion death rattle for one I don't know the trigger a death rattle effect this is only trigger one death rattle effect so you're spending a card to trigger a death rattle you can get you can get like draw a card off it so it's pay one draw a card hmm pay one make two two twos I guess pay one make two two twos is is all right Hadronox is gonna be bad. No man, Ramp Druid. Ramp Druid's good. I want Ramp Druids. Ramp Druid might not be like S tier or top tier for ladder climbing, but it's definitely gonna be like a really good deck. Ramp Druid's always gonna be good. Bear Shark. Three for four three can't be targeted. This is the best card. This is this is the card. This is the This is the meta defining card right here. This is this is the best card. This is amazing. You've got bear and shark, so that's yeah, no, this is the best card. I don't think there's anything to be said about her stone except that bear shark. So that's like the best. It's really good. Uh three for a two two stitch tracker. Then that's I like the art for it. Battle cry discover a copy of a minion in your deck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, can someone say like extra legendaries? So I don't feel like this works really well in a lot of constructed uh a lot of standard her uh hunter card decks. But as an as a heavy arena player, this card gets me excited. Cause discover things, especially discover something in your deck, gets me really excited about arenas. I don't think it has. I think it's too slow for aggressive. Well, it's clearly too slow for aggressive. And I think it's pretty low statted for mid range. I think you're just like losing a turn if you're doing mid range hunter for this to get something later. Maybe if there's like a control hunter that pops up, but I don't think. Constructed, but arenas, yeah. Venom snake, venom strike trap, new trap. Secret: When one of your minions is attacked, summon a two-three poisonous cobra. Okay. Um. It's it's a snake trap with poisonous. It doesn't intercept it. I think not like a. I want, does, I want, does this how what is a what does the paladin secret say paladin secrets does it work like get down as a new target no so it's not it doesn't work like get down it just works like previous snake trap two three poisonous cobra eh, I'm not excited about that trap especially not as not as a rare Th four for a one two death round deals two damage to all enemy minions all enemy minions mm. I don't mm, I'm not excited about this either no four for a one two that's really understated hero powers can take that out a lot it's gonna be really bad on an empty board obviously yeah just Really not excited about that one. Five for a four six corpse widow. Your death row cards cards cost two less. All right. Yeah, death row hunter already exists. So yeah, maybe in a, maybe in death row hunter we can get some more death row stuffs. Toxic arrow deals two damage to a minion if survives gives it poisonous. <laughs> huh. 
That's interesting. So you can shoot your own minion if it has enough health to give it poisonous to have it run into something. Or you can shoot to do two damage to something. Uh, of course, if you shoot to give it on an enemy and give it poisonous, I don't know if that'll work out too well for you. As an epic? Ugh. That's a really lackluster epic. Hmm. And if, you, if I want to run something in and give it poisonous, I want a small minion, so it has to be at least an X3 for this to work on your own minions. Yeah. Hmm. Abominable Bowman. 7 for a 6-7. Death Rattle. Summon a friendly, random friendly beast that died this game. Yeah! Death Rattle Hunter coming in! Yes! Yes, Death Rattle Hunter coming in. Did I see a new cha Oh, the new league champ. Yeah, his his head looks like a tire. Professor Putricide. Four for five four. After you play a secret, put a random hunter secret into the battlefield. So play a secret, get a secret. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Hunter Traps are already... It's not like Hunter Traps are hard to play. Hunter Traps are already great. This is... If you play on turn 6, it's play on turn 6, get a battle cry, get a random secret, if you have a secret in hand. Discard it. Discard a secret, get a, get a random secret too. And if he, if he survives, you just start doubling secrets. And always works great with Bow. I don't know. I don't know how good this is. I feel like it's not gonna be that great, but potentially super fun because randoms, Hearthstone's fun. Ah, uh, the the Death Knight card, Death Stalker Rexar. Battle Cry deals two damage to all enemy minions. Yeah, that's oh, I am way more excited about this. This six drop deals two damage to all enemy minions than the Druid one. And new powers craft a cusper and zombie beast. What does that mean? Hunter, death, knight, build a beast. Does it tell me what? Okay. Zombies mixes two tarts together into one. But it doesn't summon it. So it's it's pay to discover two cards and then add them together. It's like I guess discover two beast cards and then add them together. Yeah, okay. I wonder how that works with death, like if you have a death rattle beast. I wonder what happens whenever that death rattle beast dies. Like, does it come back? If you if you make it come back? Or something that, uh, whenever it comes back, like from a bottom of the bowman. I wonder how that works. Hmm. That sounds pretty nifty. I like, I like this late game late game hunter late game death rattle hunter mage cards breath of Sindragosa deals two damage to a random enemy minion and freeze it random enemy minion and freeze it mm. I don't I don't think I like Mm, if if this could be deals two damage to an enemy minion and freeze it, yes, absolutely. Random enemy minion and freeze it. Not a fan of that one. Cold Wraith, battle cry if an enemy is frozen, draw a card. Is this what is this what Mage is doing? If an enemy is frozen, draw a card. All right, maybe. If I mean, depends on how heavy in the freeze Mage we're doing. I mean, freeze Frost Nova, draw a card. Blizzard draw a card on turn 9. Frozen clone. Secret after a after your opponent plays a minion, add two copies of it to your hand. Ooh! 
two copies of it to your hand. That sounds great. Not in constructed, but now that sounds pretty sweet. At worst, it's literally a one uh, a one for two cards. It's pay three, draw two of something that your opponents drop. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two for a one three ice walker. Your hero power also freezes something. So it's not permanent. That's only while this is out. Is that I guess I mage is just really on the freeze one. That's a big. That's a really big tempo play. Although pay two to ping one and freeze something is not like the best tempo. Depends on if you're already aggressive mage, which a mage has not been aggressive recently. Doomed apprentice. Your opponent's spells cost one more. All right, uh, not a fan of this one. Three for three two is gonna be removed pretty easily by minions, and only costing one more. It's not gonna be that big of a tempo break. Ghastly Conjurer four two six. Battle cry. Add a mirror image spell to your hand. One zero two zero two. All right. Uh, works in the mage. Works on the mage quest. Mage mage quest right there. Fo frozen foe. Oh, that's cute. Uh, uh, simulacrum. No, simulacrum. Copy Lola's cost minion in your hand. Well, that's potentially like super cool. I, I really like stupid decks like this. I really like decks that do stupid things like this and the like build a build a beast things. I think that's potentially like gonna be really fun. Yeah, yeah, I think that's nifty. Really bad tempo play, but potentially really nifty. Glacial Masteries put one of each secret from your deck into the battlefield. Hey. Mage gets an overcosted. Who am I? None of your business without any body. But it, of course, Mage just costs three instead of six. Put one of each secret secret from your deck into the battlefield. Mysterious Challenger also comes with a body. So at worst, Mysterious Challenger is pay six, get a six six. At worst, Glacial Masteries is pay eight, do nothing because you have no more secrets in your deck. And with how often a controlled game goes down to decking out, this is a this actually like draws you a lot. I don't think this has a place. I think this is too slow for a control game. If you're playing control against control, this will also like potentially get you close to decking out over the other control deck. Syndragosa, eight for an eight eight, summon two zero one frozen champions. Add a random legendary minion to your hand. Dude, yeah! You know... Hearthstone is a really bad game to play competitively because of things like this. Battle Cry coming summon two zero one Frozens that get you two random legends. But, as someone who's a total... Oh, was it? Spike? I'm not a Spike. I'm a, I'm a Timmy. I want to say Timmy. As someone who's a total Timmy. Yeah, so you give me like random legends for no reason, dude. Answer so Dragon. Yeah, Timmy. Total Timmy. It's a really fun Timmy card. Frost, Lich, Jaina, Battlecry, summon a 3-6 water elemental. So just standard water elemental. Your elementals have lifesteal. Icy touch deals one damage. If this kills a minion, summon a water. Ooh! Ooh! Huh. Huh. Summon a water elemental. Look, you can just you just make water elementals out of your frozen champions. 
Nice. Nine drop. Un so, nine drop, which means you can't drop this and use your hero power in the same turn, which is a huge... If this were eight drop, I would be, like, super excited about it, but nine drop, which means you can't use your hero power at the same turn. Maybe? At eight drop, it would be really ridiculously powerful. Nine drop, big difference. Save that coin. <laughs> Chat's on it, too. Save the coin. Uh, Paladin, 1-1-1, one, 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 Taunt, Divine Shield. Oh my god, Power Creep? <laughs> oh, Power Creep! Oh no! Now it's Divine Shield and Taunt! Two Dark Conviction, set a minion's attack and health to three. Okay. Yeah, no, yes, yes, yes. Removal and buff all together in one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, good, good, very good, very, very good. Three, two, charge, lifesteal for four. I, I, I like how these Paladin cards are going so far. Like, so far these Paladin cards I feel like are pretty solid. Just send this into face. If you send this into face and they don't have spell removal, that's six heal off of it so four for three two six heal and like potential removal too yeah desperate stand assuming they don't have taunt desperate stand to give a minion death route return this to life with one health shamans already have death route return it to life with full health Why does Paladin get this really bad version of the Shaman card? The Shaman gets to bring it back to full life with at full health. I guess Paladins have more Divine Shield stuff. So this is like, this, this is something that you really want to throw in something with Divine Shield. Mmm, and weak, weak. Not, not fan. 3, 2, 2, battle cry, draw a divine shield minion from your deck. Oh. Man, they really want that divine shield. Yes. Think it's draw a card good. Draw a card quite good. And I like this kind of, I like these tutoring effects. Draw a divine shield minion from your deck. I like these tutor tutoring effects are going to be strong no matter what. So I like that. Four, five, two, death rattle. If it's your opponent's turn, summon a two, two ghoul. Ooh. If it's your opponent's turn, summon a two, two ghoul. So if I have to trade into something, it just goes away. It's five, two. But if you trade into me, that's a two, two off of it. I don't feel like that's super exciting. That's four for seven, four of stats. The four is easily removable. I mean, seven four stats is a lot of stats. Four four seven four stats. It's a lot of stats, and a very aggressively statted card to make your opponent want to trade into it. Light sorrow four one four. After a friendly minion loses divine shield, gain plus one attack. Boo! This sucks. It's got four attacks though, but. Four for a maybe three four? No, boo, I don't like it. Too slow. Uh, I don't like it. Six for three nine, Blackguard. Whenever your hero is healed, deal that much damage to a random enemy minion. Why does it gotta be minion? Deal that much damage to a random enemy minion. Oh man. Why does it gotta be minion? I just wanna throw this down and heal myself for twenty. Bam! Killed. Maybe. I wonder. Oh man, that's gonna make, just make up. That's gonna make the Paladin True Silver messed up even more. True Silver attacking something with two health. I bet that bug's gonna show up like ASAP. True Silver attacks on the two health, your, your hero just runs away from the board because it's broken. Maybe. 
Yeah, maybe. Paladins do have some decent heals. Bolvar Fireblood. Bolvar is a true hero. Divine Shield after friendly minion loses Divine Shield gain plus two attack. So it counts itself. So it's Divine Shield after it loses its Divine Shield. It's a three seven. Um, five for an X seven is pretty big. Like it's a big body. I don't, I don't see Divine Shield Paladin being like that crazy that this is gonna be that big. Equip a three-five life steal weapon. Yeah. Equip a three-five life steal weapon. Yes. Summon a two-two horseman. If you have all four, destroy the enemy hero. Wait. I'm playing Paladin. Dude, Uther is oh oh my god! I'm playing Paladin. This is it. This is what I'm. This is this is my deck. This is my deck. If you have all four destroyed, so I'm gonna assume. Are on Earth, are they the same? Are these all the same cards? So we can get like we can get the put a. Put a minion back into Getaway Kodo. We can get some Getaway Kodo in here. We can get uh, summon it back to life. Yeah, man. Building four horsemen, dude. Yes, yes. Want some bounces? So that way, I can put it in my hand and throw, drop them all at once and just kill something. It's like the Shaman Hero Power. Okay, so it's random, but if it's already out, then you won't get it again. Yeah. Yeah, I want I want that. I don't think this is a good deck. <laughs> I don't I think this is a uh, not a good deck. Although if you get it versus control, that's heal for heal for twenty with that with that nine drop heal for twenty and then eventually I want, I'm gonna put some bounces in here. Put some getaway kodos. Save the getaway kodos until now. Yeah, I want that. It's gonna be it's gonna be like. Auto win versus another control deck. And it is 9 drop heal for 20, so we can survive until then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's gonna be the deck I wanna play. That's the deck I'm most excited about so far. It's gonna be it's gonna be a control deck destroyer, man. Shadow Ascendant, 2 for 2-2 two, two. at the end of the turn, give another random friendly minion plus one plus one. Hello Arenas, eh, for Constructed, bad Constructed card. Two Life Steal, deal one damage to all minions. So it's two, deal all damage, one damage to all minions and heal yourself for that much. Oh, Life Steal works differently from Holy Nova, this works with spell damage. Oh, yeah, spell damage heal for a ton. Yeah. Spell damage heal for a ton. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes. Very, very much yes. Yes, 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 yes. Acolyte of Agony, 333 life steal. Solid. I think that's I think that's solid too. Four eternal servitude, discover a friend of me that died this game and summon it. And summon it. Discover friendly minion, not just not with someone a random minion. I think that's really big. Discover friendly minion that died this game and summon it. You're not gonna play this until late, so that way you have some big things die. But control priests already exist, and that's super fun. Get yourself back your get yourself back your your eternal son. Uh, get your new son. Get yourself back a new son. And combo off again. Devour Mind, 5 for a... Copy 3 cards in your opponent's deck and add them to your hand. Yeah! Bigger Thought Steal! Um, the arena in me likes it, but... 5 is pretty heavy, but at the same time... 
I mean, yeah, of course it doesn't get its battle cry, but dude, it's okay. Death rattles where it's at, anyways. Devour mind three, draw three, five, draw three of your opponent's cards. Yes. Shadow essence six. Summon a five five. Summon a five five copy of a random minion in your deck. Hmm. Okay. So. Uh huh. Okay. That's potentially incredibly interesting. A five-five copy of something. Five-five acolytes of pains. Five-fives. Five-five death rattles. Get a mallet goes. Ah, oh, yeah. Get six of a random mean. If this were discover, this would be amazing. Random, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Embrace darkness. Choose an enemy minion at the start of your turn. Gain control of it. Um, no. Choose an enemy minion at the start of your turn. Gain control of it. So that means you give you're giving your opponents one more turn to use that minion. So they're like, okay, maybe I want to trade into it, or I can get it, or I'll give it to you later. Uh, no, it's like, hmm, if you, if they have something big that you need to get rid of, this is going to hurt way more than anything else. Like you're giving your opponent one more turn with that, whatever it is to do something with it. I don't know. I don't think so. Obsidian statue nine four four eight taunt life steal death rattle destroy a random enemy minion. Nifty. Very cool. Very cool. Taunt life steal death rattle destroy a random enemy minion. So we potentially heal for a bunch too. Yeah, this is gonna be really sweet. I like that. Nine cost, but I like it. Archbishop Benedictus. Battle cry, shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up now. Oh, what, what did you say? Shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck. <laughs> Okay. That sounds really bad. <laughs> that sounds like really bad. But potentially incredibly fun. But this is like, I think this is like Renounced Darkness Warlock. I mean, that's a nice deck. I think I'll take it. But... Ooh, that's it's fun, but bad, but fun, but really bad. <laughs> yeah, play it against deck, uh, play against uh, mill decks. Mm. It's not something you want to play early? You might as well play it early. It's not like your opponents are going to get their bigger cost cards later on. You want You might as well play it as early as you can. So that way you can get more of your opponent's cards. But it's not like if you play it later, you'll get better cards from your opponent. Because it's, you know, it's a random deck. Just, yeah, wait until they get their Elise so you can get double Elise. If you're playing a deck that is playing on putting your opponent's deck in your deck, it's your, your deck's not like a super thin deck anyways. If you're... You can't play it indefinitely because as soon as you yes, if you play yours, it's not in your deck anymore. So if your opponent has one in his deck, oh yeah, I guess so. But you would have to continuously not draw your archbishops because you would have to draw you would draw yours and then play yours while your opponent still has an archbishop in his deck, and he has to draw and play his before yours comes out of your deck. 
fun card. Uh, I think if I draw it, I'll definitely play it in a Control Priest deck, but I think it's a really bad card. Shadow Reaper Anduin. <laughs> Battle Cry, destroy all minions with five or more attack. Yeah! That's a good battle cry for a big hero power. Deals two damage after you play a card, refresh it. Somebody has a way to make their hero co power cost zero. So, I like that. I like that. Uh, even if it's eight, eight gain five armor, destroy your opponents, destroy a big minion, and yeah, even if this destroys one, that's gonna be that's gonna be worth it already. And then void form with zero cost hero power, free every single card says also deal two damage to stuff. Leeching poison. I never like rogue being constructed. Just saying. Give your weapon life steal. Ew. Ew, that's bad. Plague Scientist combo, give a friendly point minion poisonous. Eh. Combo. Ew. Not excited. Bone Baron. Oh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember what set's rotating out of standard. Which set's rotating out? No, is this is this set causing a, a rotation or is this set not causing a rotation yet? I don't know if this one's the last one in a rotation or this one's causing a rotation yet. Bone Baron. Nothing's rotating yet, so it's the next the next year is when they do the rotation. Bone Baron says. Death Rattle, add two 1-1 one, one Skeletons to your hand. 1-1-1. One, 5-5-5 one, one. Five, five, five for 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's not... It's not super impressive. I guess these are just like combo triggerers, but not... Yeah, not exciting. Roll the bones! Draw a card... I swear this artwork's been used before. Oh, that's from, that's artwork from the WoW TCG. That's an archaeology card from WoW TCG. I don't think anybody knows that reference, but still, that's where I see that artwork. It's fun to see World of Warcraft train card game cards again. I think that's what it is. Two Roll the Bones. Draw a card if it has Death Rattle casts again. This actually might also be called Roll the Bones in the World of Warcraft training card game. Draw a card if it has Death Rattle casted again. Pay to draw a card, and maybe draw more. Okay. Okay. Just okay. Shadow Blade, three, three, two, battle cry, your hero's immune this turn. Yeah. It's okay. More more. Mm. Three three two. Yeah, it's not it's not a good card. Pay to, but can trips aren't bad. Can trips at worst just thin your deck out. So anytime it's a can trip, it's not bad. Can trip with a potential bonus. I've seen this artwork before too. I swear. Oh no, I've seen that. I just recognize that from in game. That's just a little guy from in the game. Four five three Rune Forge Haunter. During your turn, your weapon won't lose durability. Well, that's really cool. I would see this as 4, 5, 3, give your weapon plus 1 durability. Because you're really not going to have this out. You're not going to have this out for multiple turns unless you're like... You gave your weapon poisonous, and your opponents just can't remove this. But I don't see this as anything more than give your weapon plus one durability. It's basically plus one durability for your weapon. Not a constructed card. Boomerang! Throw your weapon at a minion! It deals its damage, then returns to your hand!
Does that trigger death rattles? Does Rogue have any death rattles? Does how does that do with what does that do to durability too? Does that refresh its durability? What is this what is this, what does this card do? Hearthstone, why your cards make no sense? What does this card do? Throw your weapon at a minion, it deals its damage and it returns to your hand. Oh, returns to your hand, not in play. So you lose a weapon in play and then it goes back into your hand, not in play. It's like Blade Flurry, but then you get the card back. Yeah, okay. If only rogues had a good weapon. Spectral Pillager. I wonder what the rogue basic weapon is. Spectral Pillager. 655 five, five. combo deals damage equal to the number of other cards you've played this turn. Ew. Combo do two damage? <laughs> Six card, five, five, do two damage? Maybe? Coin it on turn five to do one damage? Uh, ew. Ew. Wait until turn 10 to do four damage with his battle cry? So, ah, ew. No. Lillian Voss. Battle cry, replace spells in your hand with a random spell from your opponent's class. <laughs> this is a really bad card. <laughs> This is a really bad card. <laughs> like, hmm, I have potentially good cards, but let me get rid of these potentially good cards, like my Eviscerate, and make them into a random spell. No, this is bad. No, this is really bad. Like, this is potentially going to get you more bad stuff than get you better stuff. <laughs> why, why would you want to do that? Valera! The Hollow. Battlecry gains stealth. Hey! Battlecry just... Your opponents don't get a turn. During your turn, add a shower reflection to your hand. What does that mean? Each time you play a card, transform this into a copy of it. During your turn. So you don't get to use your abilities. You just get death shadows. Wow. Can someone say... Oh, man. I'm just... I'm getting flashbacks of OTK Rogue. What do we call OTK Rogue? Like Mali Maligos Road, what do we call that? There's a there's a, a name for it, but Yeah, that's that's happening for that Mali Rogue. Every single turn get a infinite number of uh, eviscerates. Eviscerate! Eviscerate! P Miracle Rogue, thank you. Yeah, a miracle rogue. Pew 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I see that. Every turn get a free eviscerate. After you draw your eviscerate. Yeah, this is, this is definitely and miracle this is just buy yourself a turn with Miracle Rogue. I don't see why Miracle Rogue wouldn't run this. Each time you play a card, transform this into a copy of it. Okay. So I assume this I assume this transformation will re remain past turns. They disappear at the end of your turn. Really? So you can't like save up shadow reflections? Well, fucking Hearthstone doesn't tell you anything about these cards. Huh. Well, that makes me feel I don't know how I feel about that then. I mean, that's, poten that's potentially just draw that's draw an extra card every single turn, which is great. At worst, it's draw a card, draw an extra card every single turn. Grrr, lock. 
amazing name. Freeze an enemy minion. Yeah, Murloc's like Tempo. Yeah, it seems pretty good for Tempo Murloc. Ice Fishing. Draw two Murlocs. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. We're pushing I, I think Shaman might have a an archetype. Taunt overload three. Three for two eight. Uh Yes. Yeah. Throw down that throw down that two eight. Heartless one two three with a brand new sub. Heartless, thank you so much for that sub dude and welcome to the Super Family. Icebreaker 313. Destroy any frozen minions damaged by this. How Shaman only has like a few ways to freeze things. He says as I swear they're doing that on purpose. Avalanche, freeze a minion and deal three damage to adjacent ones. Now we have to meteor place out even our even against shaman. That sounds that's not bad. Yeah, there's only a few ways, and there's another another one of the few ways. Voodoo Hexer five two seven taunt freeze any character damaged by this minion. A mage weapon. I don't know. Mages don't get axes though. So. Five two seven freeze any character damaged by this minion. I don't like this. I don't like this freeze stuff on the shaman. I'll, I'll give a minion plus three plus three and freeze it. Oh, that feels so weird to see all this freeze on shaman. Oh yeah, and the one drop freeze elemental, but the one drop freeze elemental to also combo with a weapon to kill something. Yeah. Give a minion plus three plus three and freeze it. So if you give it to your own minion, you actually lose two different. No, you can attack first and then freeze it. No, you still lose two attacks with your minion by freezing it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I like that one. I like Voodoo Hexer. Voodoo Hexer is a big tempo play. Freeze into devolving. You can freeze your own taunt, I guess. Two to get something. Three, three. Eh. I get you can also freeze something this turn you play it, I guess. I don't know. If it said two, give a minion plus three plus three, that's already something that I like eh, to being played. And I feel it feels like it's trying to. It feels like it's asking for too much to see a lot of play. If you freeze it before it attacks and unfreezes next turn, okay. So freeze always skips one attack, whether it's attacked or not. Snow Flurry Giant costs one less for each mana crystal you've overloaded this game. Hey, now that sounds pretty cool. Probably gonna be like a six drop though. Yeah, I don't see you. It's probably like a six drop, but. I like that concept. Draw it, you draw it super late, you might get it down to like. A four drop. Thrall five 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 cost five cost. Transform individuals cost two more. Oh. Transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, well, well. Hello there. Hello there, Thrall Death Seeker. You sexy man, you. That's transform a friendly minion into a random one. So you get to choose the minion you're transforming. 
That's pretty sweet. This is, this is like solid, and it's only a five cost hero. This is like solid good. If I had to pick so far one meta defining card, I think this is it. Pay two for single target evolve. Yeah, man, that's, that's good. Yeah. And also, also, oh no, you don't get to evolve. How many, is this the first 11 cost card in Hearthstone? Uh, Wowhead will have, or Hearthstone will have it, right? Hearthstone. Is this the first 11 cost card? It is the first 11 cost minion. So, Clockwork Giant, is Clockwork Giant 11? No, this is the first 11 one. So, what, so can you evolve your Yogg now? That's that's the big thing about it being 11 cost is if you have Yogg and you play Yogg and it evolves, will Yogg evolve into Snow Flurry Giant now? Hmm. Like I think I wonder if 10 cost cards will now evolve into Snow Flurry Giant or just in general any 10 cost card will evolve into Snow Flurry Giant or not. I think so. <sighs> Yogg nerf. God, they're just really hating that Yogg. What a huge Yogg nerf. Murabi, whenever another minion is frozen, add a copy of it to your hand. I feel differently about cryostasis now. I feel I feel very differently about cryostasis now. Shaman sounds like it's gonna be like weird fun. As long as you're not dead. But then against the five cost. Hmm. Hmm. Play this with the eight drop the 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 eight eight elemental that freezes itself after attacking. Free eight eight elementals. Sanguine Reve uh, reveler. Sanguine reveler battle cry destroy a fellow minion and gain one one. Mm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Drain Soul 2. Life Steal deals 2 damage to a minion. Okay, that that's all, that basically already existed before. But as a 3 cost, so that's just a 1 cost down. That's potentially, that's 2, two deal 2, heal 2. It's good enough. Howl Fiend. 3, 3, 6. Whenever this minion takes damage, discard a random card. God no. <laughs> oh no, God no. Ew. Don't like nope. I know we have discard warlock decks, but I don't like discard warlock. I feel like discard warlock's pretty shitty. It's fun, but shitty. Defile deal one ish all minions that they die cast it again. This is why Dreadsteed got that nerf yesterday. I was so confused. Oh, this is why they nerfed Dreadsteed. Uh, okay. What's well, interesting? Super good control warlock card. Wipe a pirate pallet. You know, wipe a wipe a pirate warrior. For two, yeah, definitely 100% playable. 100% playable. Unwilling sacrifice. Choose a friendly minion, destroy it, and a random and a random enemy minion. Hmm. How they nerf Dreadsea? Dreadsea now only comes back at the end of the turn, not instantly. So if you played this with Dreadsteed, that's pay a uh, Dreadsteed and Defile, kill everything except for your Dreadsteed. Defile Grim Patron. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Get three Grim Patients out there with different healths and get just kill everything. Despicable Dreadlord. Did I skip? No, Despicable Dreadlord. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all enemy minions. That's like scratching a bunch of enemy minions. I don't think this is going to be too great and constructed. Not at one damage for a 5-4-5. Five, five. Gnome Feratu. That's adorable. Battle card, remove the top card of your opponent's deck. Okay. I saw this card. I saw this card on the Magic the Gathering subreddit. Because people were talking about how Hearthstone people were crazy about this card. People were insane about well about Gnome Feratu because people didn't know how Gnome Feratu would affect things like oh my god what if it deletes like the best card in your deck and then you instantly lose because it destroyed your combo piece remove the top card of your opponent's deck Mill's super fun I wish Mill were I, I love Mill decks because I'm a total Timmy and I like my stupid decks Two for two threes playable. In control, absolutely. In control, I think this is gonna get slapped in there to just have a chance of winning against another control deck. Treachery, choose a friendly minion and give it to your opponent. It's pretty bad though because it removed cards the same as being in the bottom. Not in the control deck. In control, you're almost always going to fatigue anyways. Two for two threes not playing Hearthstone at all? Mm, yeah, because Arcane Mage and all those other are not played. Like I said, it's in a control deck. For another control deck, you could potentially blow out something really big. Especially since control decks almost always go to fatigue. Treachery, give your opponent a Doomsayer? I don't... I mean, like, unless we get something down here that's, like, really useful. That sounds... That sounds so incredibly niche. Blood Queen Lanathel. Lifesteal has plus one attack for each card you've discarded this game. Lifesteal... With a 3-6? Dis no, man, the discard Warlock. I don't know, discard Warlock. Hmm. Doom Doomsayer Treachery is instant clear. Yeah, that's a two-card combo that only works with each other. Treachery is literally a useless card unless you have Doomsayer. Like, that's not good enough to have a two-card instant clear combo. Two card, five cost, instant clear combo. <laughs> Bad. Mm, I'm not a fan of the artwork, but um, no, I don't. I don't discard. I don't think discard is gonna be so super popular that this card becomes good. Blood Reaver Gul'dan, 10 cost. This thing's the first 10 cost Death Knight. Summon all friendly demons that died this game. Ew. Ew. Lifesteal, deal three damage. Now that's exciting. Deal three, heal three for two. That's exciting. But we already have, uh, we already become a, a different hero. Mm. Summon all friendly demons that died this game. Well, if you're doing discard lock, if you're doing discard lock, actually, you're probably gonna get a bunch of three two imps, which is, <laughs> yeah, you don't want this in discard lock because that's pay, pay ten get a bunch of three two imps probably. Maybe a doom guard. Hmm, I'm not. I think this is pretty weak. 
especially in discard where you get a bunch of three twos. Warrior, animated berserker. After you play a minion, deal one damage to it. <laughs> oh man, that's that's really asking for a lot of support to make that a good card. Ah, uh, no, that's asking for a a one three one a one one three. Hmm, maybe. I don't think so though. Can you say free after you play me, not after a minion is summoned? I don't think you can get a full Grim Patron. If this was after your after you summon a minion, that's pay one and a Grim Patron to get a full board of three two Grim Patrons. With this, it's a pay, on six turn five, a three two and a three three Grim, Grim Patron. Forge of Souls, draw two weapons from your deck. So now you're guaranteed fiery war axe. This is this is paid to get more fiery war axes. <laughs> more fiery war axes. Blood razor, battle cry, and death rattle deal one damage to all minions. You know Grim Patron isn't in standard anymore, right, Hearthstone? Mountain fire armor. If it's your opponent's turn, gain six armor. Death rattle. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean... Yeah, I like this if it's your opponent's turn one. I like I like that. I like it. I like it. If they have taunt, then you don't get it. But otherwise, 6 armor on a 4-3 on a body. 3-4-3 three, three body is already good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, one, four, Val Valkyr Soul Claimer. Whenever this means survives damage, summon a Tutu Ghoul. I think these warrior, warrior cards are asking for a lot of support together. Two, two, two. Meh. Death Revenant. Five, three, three. Gain a one, one for every damaged minion. Probably just gonna be a five five. Uh, each damage minion, even your opponent's damage minion, naturally. I think this is gonna be a five five five, maybe a five six six. Eh. Eh. Mm. Dead man's hand. Shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. Um. Hmm. Wow, this is asking for a combo, but <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, man. That doesn't even draw. If this said shuffle, copy your hand into your deck, draw a card. Shuffle, copy your hand into your deck, draw a card. Or wait until you have a auctioneer out, but mm. bring it on. Gain ten armor. Reduce the cost of your minions in your, in your opponent's hand by two. Oh, well, that's nifty. Pirate warriors don't want that at all. No, this is shitty for pirate warriors because this is a dead card in pirate warrior. You're not decking out. This is you only use this if you're like gonna deck out. This is like a control warrior card, not. Um, this is like as control warrior. Yeah. Pay two, gain ten. But it doesn't like it doesn't give you anything. It just is ten armor. Meh. On second thought, meh. It's, we have pay three, draw, uh, gain five armor, and draw, which the and draw is really important. Mm, meh. Rot face. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon a le random legendary minion. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Once again, the Timmy and me says yes. The Timmy and me says very says yes very much. And with a six cost body, I unless it's getting like silenced or unless you're playing against Mage who has a few ways of getting rid of it. Against a non-mage deck, I think this will definitely be able to summon at least one legendary minion. Has four attack. Yeah, take it against Priest, man. Scourge Lord Garrosh. Garrosh. Battle Cry equipped a 4-3 Shadow Morn that also damages adjacent minions. Nifty. Hurts, but nifty. Deals one damage to all minions. <laughs> uh, I mean, if we went if we went to wild and played and played patron, man, this warrior these warrior cards would be great if grim patron still existed. But right now, I don't think so. I'm not feeling warrior. Except for throwing this in just like a control warrior deck. Zero one one beast. Whoa! One two one battle cry. Give her family minion plus one attack. Uh, no. One 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 murloc with life steal. More murlocs. This is a pretty great murloc artwork too. 1-1-1, one, one, one. whenever this minion attacks, deals 2 damage to enemy hero. More meh. Meh, 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 meh. 2, battle cry, give her friendly minion, plus 1, plus 1. A little more excited about this, but the 1 the one health is not exciting. Divine shield, spell damage, plus 1. Needs to draw a card. Tuscar! Battle cry, give a friendly spell, minion spell damage plus one. Not feeling it. Just, just meh. Just meh. Death Speaker, Battle cry, give a friendly minion immune this turn. Yeah, okay. Now that's, now that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Molten Rager is gonna be all the rage, man. Those Moan Ragers are now immune. They have infinite health. It's basically give something Divine Shield. 3, 2, 4, give something Divine Shield. I wonder how often immune is going to come in play versus Divine Shield, but... Yeah. Definitely, definitely cool, 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 cool. 3, 4, 4, Battle Cry, freeze your other minions. 344 and empty board is 344 for free? Good. Uh, yeah, this will be up on YouTube later, Midori. Uh, or, or, 344, get a bunch of copies of shit as a shaman. <laughs> Vire Ghoul, 331. Three, if it's your opponent's turn, summon a 2 2 Ghoul. I really like this if it's your opponent's turn stuff. I really like that if it's your opponent's turn stuff. I think that's really good. The card itself, three potentially three for five three stats. Which is not super crazy for constructed, but your opponent's turn given a one one ghoul. I, I really like that opponent's turn stuff. Grave Shambler, whenever your weapon is destroyed, gain one one. Wow, that's uh Only useful in rogue. Uh, four, four, five, five for rogue. I guess. Arena only card. Grim Necromancer four two four summon two one one skeletons. They're just vanilla skeletons. So instead of four four two four summon a two one, now we have two one ones. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So exciting. 
Night Howler, whenever this minion takes damage, gain plus two attacks. So, oh, whenever this minion takes damage, not in rage, plus two attack. So it's not, so if you just keep pinging it, it just keeps getting plus two attack. Okay. Wicked Skeleton, battle cry, plus one, plus one for each minion that died this turn. Yeah, give me a Doomsayer into this, man. Yeah, it's like Urubashi. Give me a Doomsayer into Wicked Skeleton. That sounds wicked good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doomsayer into Wicked Skeleton. Blood Worm. Lifesteal for four. The arena in me still sees this as a pretty dang solid card. The constructed, uh, no, I don't think so. Cobalt Scale Bane at the end of your turn. Give another friendly minion, random friendly minion plus three attack. Okay. At the end of your turn, it immediately comes in and gives something plus three attack too. All right. Okay. Skeletomancer, Death Rattle, if it's your opponent's turn, summon an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yay! Um, opponent's turn stuff, I like it. I don't think this is going to get triggered often. It's only it's only a 2-2, two, two, so you can basically just ignore it the entire time. You don't, like, I would, I would just ignore it. Here's, here's the link, man. And for the full spoilers. Uh, I think this is just going to get ignored the entire time. 5-2-2 two, two, to just leave a 2-2 two, two on the board the entire time, unless your opponent accidentally kills it somehow. Sunborn Valkyrie. Valkyrie, give adjacent minions plus 2 health. Wait until they play Doomsayer. Yeah. Give adjacent minions plus 2 health. Okay. Okay, okay, just okay. Venomancer, five for two, five point five for two, five poisonous. That's... Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the biggest vanilla poisonous character we have. Bleh. Oh no, we have uh, the the beast. We have my Ma Maxna, which also ew, not eh. Necrotic Geist. Whenever another one of your minion dies, summon a 2 2 ghoul. Alright. Yeah, make a bunch of 2 2 ghouls. Alright. I, I like so far none of these none of these uh none of these cards are exciting to me for the classless cards. Spell damage plus two? Nah. Bone Mare, seven, five, five, battle cry, give a friendly minion plus four, plus four, and taunt. Yes! Now that I can get behind. This I can get behind. Give a friendly minion plus four, plus four, and taunt. Oh yeah, now this, this, this is it. Yeah. Ghoul, there's no ghoul support. Ghouls don't, are, are just ghouls. They're just two twos. Happy Ghoul, cost zero, your hero is healed this turn. What? Yeah, I like Arena, man. What? Cost zero, your hero is healed this turn. Are we going to get some aggressive priests up in here? Because it sounds like you're asking me to get some aggressive priests up in here. Pay 2, heal your hero, and get a 3-3. Three, three. Let's get some aggressive priests up in here. Every It always goes aggressive. Like, going, going up the ladder always ends up with a lot of aggressive decks. Because if you have an aggressive deck with a 50% win ratio and a non-aggressive deck with a 50% win ratio, on the latter you might as well play the aggressive deck because you'll win faster. 
So you'll climb the deck faster if all things are the same and an aggressive deck and a control deck both have the same win rate. And a control deck just takes four times as long as the aggressive decks. You can climb the, fa the, the ladder way faster with an aggressive deck. So aggressive decks on ladder all the time. Guaranteed. Oh yeah, everyone gets to use it if they lifesteal. True, 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 true. I forget about all the lifesteal stuff now. Mind breaker, your hero powers are hero powers are disabled. Ooh. Hero powers are disabled for three, two, five. Interesting. Very interesting. I wanna throw that late game whenever people wanna throw on their big their big death knight heroes now. But I don't think it's like a, a Lotheb that's like that big of a useful card. Shallow Grave Digger, Death Rail, add a random Death Rail meaning to your hand. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I like that card. This this is a card this card I likey. This card this card me likey. Keening Banshee. Whenever you play a card, remove the top three cards of your deck. Well, we know how we, I've I've seen how this goes before. Fell Reavers has taught me how these cards would go before. At least this is when you play a card, so you can just you could choose to not play. Way better than Fell Reaver. Not constructed. Arena. Hmm. Phantom Free Booter. Battle Cry gain stats equal to your weapons. Pirate. Very important. Pirate tag. And not just attack, health too. So yeah, absolutely. This is this is just this just goes right into Pirate Warrior. Like this you just literally just put that into Pirate Warrior. I think you can just use this to replace the um Frothing Berserker in Pirate Warrior. Like you can just take out Frothing Berserker, put in Phantom Freebooter, and I think you just made Pirate Warrior way better. Sarah Knight Chain Gang, 4, 2, 3, Taunt, Battle Cry, Summon a copy of this minion. So you get 4, 2, 3, 2, 3. Taunts. Meh. Meh. It's okay. Tickling Abomination, Death Rattle, deal 5 damage to your minions. Ticking, not tickling. Ha 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 ha. Uh... Oh man, a tickling abomination would be very different. Interesting. Corpse Razor! 3 3 Battle Cry, give a friendly minion Death Route, resummon this minion. Alright. Okay. I think that's I think that's definitely got potential to trade in so you can get something back. Bone Drake six six five Death Rattle add a random dragon to your hand. Dragon Death Rattle add a random dragon to your hand. You need them dragons, dude. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Uh, that's for Brian Kibler. Please don't call me Brian Kibler. Brian, Brian Kibler, 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 Kibler. I mean, it's it's six six five just to cantrip it to to get whatever. And more dragons on a dragon effect that lets you dragon dragon stuff. Death rounds are not guaranteed, no. But you don't. Basically, the only thing you're worried about is hex poly, and maybe the unicorn priests that are coming around now. Oh, it works for with Nazoth. That's true. Dragon Nazoth. I don't think Dragon Nazoth shows up too much though. I think that's too much at once. That nothing's rotated out yet. Rotate rot uh, rotation's not happened yet. There's nothing rotating out with this set coming in. Dracari Enhancer. No, Enchanter. End of turn effects trigger twice. So, Shaman things heal twice. Uh, 
get 10 10 tens to make it double your things mm. Yeah, BRM had the most dragon stuff. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I can't think of too many end of turn effects just because there's nothing in my mind that's needed to categorize end of turn effects. Corpse Taker. Gain taunt if your deck has a taunt minion. Re repeat for divine shield. Oh, okay. So, oh, if your deck has one. Oh, so it's a four three three taunt divine shield lifesteal wind fury. Huh. Ragnaros. Yeah, I think like I think rag e either rag is the biggest thing with that. Four three three. <laughs> Gain taunt divine shield lifesteal wind fury. I don't think you'll actually get Wind Fury because you know you don't, not often you run a minion with Wind Fury on it. But still, Taunt Divine Shield Life Steal for four three three Taunt Divine Shield Life Steal. Yeah, it sounds pretty good in a Paladin deck, especially. Death Axe Punisher give a random Life Steal minion in your hand plus two plus two. I don't think. I don't know how many things have life steal. Have they have they retroactively added life steal to any cards? They have. They added it to the to the warlock one, the warlock demon. Meat wagon four one four death rattle. Summon a minion from your deck with less attack than this minion. Hmm. Golly. Golly, that ja that sounds just uh Bristlebane. Does Bristlebane now have life steal? I gu I guess he might have changed him to life steal. Meat wagon. Summon a minion for your deck with less attack than this minion. Digging the cards review stream. Awesome stuff smile. Endorse GG. Thank you so much for that five dollar tip, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Not excited about it. Not excited about it. Rattling Rascal four two two. Summon a five five skeleton. Battle cry. Summon a five five skeleton. Death rattle. Summon one for your opponent. <laughs> Door, uh, a, a, a plus artwork, first of all. A plus artwork. Mm, B. B. Not a good striking card. Tomb Lurker, 5-5-3. Five, five, Battle Cry, add a random death round minion that died this game to your hand. Alright, slap it, it in a death rattle deck, man. Sounds okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know of like a lot of these. I feel like a lot of these uh, classes cards are not gonna get that much play, but maybe. Furnace, fire, colossus, death, battle cry. Discard all weapons from your hand and gain their stats. No. 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 Sounds like six, six, nine, eight. Have your opponents remove hard removal, remove a card from your hand as well. Like, I feel like this is just asking, this is just begging for your opponent's hard removal to just hit it super hard. That way you lose out extra cards. I'm. I don't think so. Skulking Geist, 646, six, destroy all one cost spells in both hands and decks. Cost spells? One cost spells? 
Oh, it's fuck you, Jay Druid. <laughs> oh my god. This is fuck you, Jay Druid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, this just reminds me of the only time I've seen Day9 get angry is when he's talking about Jay Druids. And this is Fuck you, Jay Druid! <laughs> oh man, I mean, like, what else? One cost spells? Oh man. I guess Paladin Secrets, but. No, that's re that's just Jay Druid hate. Oh man, that's just, just fuck Jay Druid. I mean, Jay Druid can be a yeah, sure. It also ruins combo priest. Oh, no inner fire for combo priest. Oh, that's very true. No more unicorn priest shit. But combo priest has a uh, has a new sun, so they can always they can always just get the first thing off of the new sun. Conceal. Who uses conceal anymore? Six five five spells cost two more. Hey, it's it's Lothab. Lothab was a 5 5 5. That was a big tempo play. 6 5 5 for a slightly less tempo play for both players. I think this is a good way to ruin some combo plans. I think this is a very good way to ruin some combo plans. Lothab was powerful, and this looks to be basically just one more Lothab, but for both with a like, it's a worse load that, but for multiple turns, too? <laughs> Prince... Kalisef. Um, I don't know how that would work if with cost reduction, because... Hearthstone is super... It's super... Not... Consistent. Prince Kalisef. 2-2-2 two, 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 battle cry of your... Deck has no two cost cards. Give all minions to deck plus one plus one. Okay. Two, two, two. If this is your only two drop, no cost cards, not no cost minions. Uh, uh, can anyone pull that off? You have minions in your deck. I don't... Ramp, ramp druid? But then you have, but then you can't have, you have to have drawn your wild growths. And your rats. Uh... Uh, nope, I'm gonna say no. Prince Taldarim. Or Taldaram. If your deck has no three cost cards, transform into a 3 3 copy of a minion. What? If your deck has no three cost cards, transform into a 3 3 copy of a minion. I guess War Control Warlock could potentially not have any two cost cards. I guess Warlock's two cost aren't too exciting. Aggro Druid, Aggro Druid, no, dude, so many two cost cards go in Aggro Druid. Absolutely not. No, no, it's a three-three copy of a minion. It's not like it's a it's a, it's a minion on the board. Summon to a three-three copy of a minion. Like this is only gonna be useful. It's like one of the last cards in your deck. This is like a solid no. Uh 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 uh. -uh. Arthas! Oh, it's Arthas. It's the Lich Beast. It's the... The Keeper of the Frozen Bone. Arthas. Death Rattle, add a random Death Knight card to your hand. Um... Are Death Knight cards... So this is Death Rattle, add a random... Death Knight hero card to your hand? 
Is that what that is? Oh, these are Death Knight cards. Okay, let's see. 753 Frostmourne. Oh, God. Hearthstone just never explains anything. Death Rattles. Summon every minion killed by this weapon. <laughs> Army to the dead. Remove the top five cards from your deck. Summon any minions removed. Nifty. Doom Pack. Destroy all minions. Remove the top card from your deck for each minion destroyed. What? The straw means remove the cop card from your deck for each minion destroyed. That sounds not good. Death Grip. Steal a minion from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Nifty. Death and Decay. Deal 3 damage to all enemies. 3-3 three, three damage to all enemies. All enemies! Ah! Ah! Anti-Magic Shell. Give your minions plus 2 plus 2 and cannot be targeted. Give your minions. All your minions. Hmm. Obliterate, destroy a minion. Your hero takes damage equal to its health. Ouch. Death Coil deals 5 damage to an enemy or restore 5 health to a friendly character. Uh, I, so... And that's from Arthas. I mean, that's potentially a huge card off of Arthas. Potentially a huge card off of Arthas. I don't know how. I don't know. It's so random. God, random. Just random, random, random. Random in Hearthstone. Prince Valinar! Yeah, Hearthstone now has Exodia. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make an Exodia deck. Prince Valinar! Battle Cry, if your deck has no four cost cards, what's with this shit? Gain, Lifesteal, and Taunt? Why? 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 I mean, I guess at worst it's a 4-4-4, four, 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 but still, like, how, four cost cards are so good. I don't know how you're going to use it unless it's, like, one of the last cards in your deck. The Lich King. 8-8-8 eight, 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 taunt at the end of your turn. Add a random Death Knight card to your hand. Okay, well, that's solid. All right, yeah, but that's just solid. Absolutely, that's for getting played. Uh, Yeah, absolutely, 100%. It's just, it's, it's taunt you, Sarah. Lich, the Lich, the Ysera King. That's it. That's the last one. Yeah, absolutely. Whew. And then we just saw the Death Knight cards. Yeah, it's, that's a that's a Death Knight Ysera. Sounds good. Well, that was fun. I'm glad, I'm glad to have finally done this. He's Taunt. He goes in Taunt Warrior. It's this first time I actually ever, like, kept myself so far away from Hearthstone spoilers that I can actually do a full set review. I, yeah, I, I like it. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, dinner is ready for me now, so I'm going to go eat some food. Thank you for joining me, guys. If this is your first time here, my name is Zinigami. I'm a variety streamer. I play all sorts of games, and whenever a new set comes out, we got to play Hearthstone. I know I have like 50-something packs saved up. Because I've been doing a lot of arenas. Because we get a free win in arenas. So that's pushing up my arena average. Guys, I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay beautiful. I am going to...